I have had what is probably going to be one of the longest days of my entire life. So it all starts off with me leaving Dublin this morning at 3 a.m. to go and catch my flight. So the way I'm getting to PAX is by flying first to Frankfurt for a short little two hour layover and then the big long 11 hour flight to Seattle. There's always something that felt a little bit counterintuitive to me about flying to Germany to fly to America because you start off flying in ostensibly the wrong direction. But uh, once I overcame that, I had a nice little trip, mostly. I arrived good and early, um, spent a little bit of time at Dublin Airport, got on the plane, and then landed in Frankfurt. I took some cool little shots around the airport, filmed some nice little stuff, only to find that there was a security breach at Frankfurt Airport, which meant that my zone, uh, Zone Z, specifically Terminal Z, had to be evacuated. Which isn't a giant problem, really. It's an inconvenience, but it's not the end of the world. But then they get us all there. And this is after, by the way, walking many, many you know, 30 or 40 minutes just around this labyrinthian airport looking for my terminal, only to suddenly be stopped by armed guards who then cart us off to Terminal B. And we are repeatedly told, you know, there's amenities and food and drink and stuff in Terminal B. So just hang out here. Hang out here and we will call you. And I'm looking at my flight on the big ticker thing, the big board where all the, the stuff happens. And it says boarding at Z25. So I go up to the information desk and I ask, excuse me, it says my flight's boarding, but I thought Z was locked off. And the lady says, oh, you're right, Z is locked off. Just ignore that. And then 10 minutes later, I come back and I say, look, my flight still says it's boarding. Are you sure I can't go to Terminal Z to get on the plane? And she says, no, 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 that's just an automatic holdover mistake from the way the flight is set up. And I say, okay. And then 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, my flight is gone completely from the list. So I go over to her and I say, hi, my flight's actually gone completely from the ticker list. And she says, oh, let me take a look. And she types in my flight number and she says, oh yeah, your flight's gone. And I'm, I'm like, but you, oh, okay. Something must have happened, something, something must have happened between you telling me I couldn't go and get it and the plane free and taken off. But anyway, so then she I say, well, what do I do now? And she says, well, I actually can't help you. You need to go to the Lufthansa desk. And I'm like, okay. So I walk over to the Lufthansa desk and get in this queue of, I would say, about 140 people waiting to speak to the Lufthansa people. And on average, I would say each person's little conversation with them to rebook their flights and get them transferred somewhere else takes maybe 20 minutes. So I'm sitting in this queue for, standing in this queue rather, for literally four hours, chatting to America, these, you know, these American tourists who are going to Houston and just you know, kind of hanging out. So I'm in this queue for four hours and then Towards the end of this, this lady comes up and says, hi, actually, I've spoken to my supervisor and we have to uh, close these help desks. And we're, we, the, we say, excuse me? And she says, we actually have to close these help desks soon. And you're gonna have to go to the different help desk upstairs where there's already 150 other people who have had their flights canceled or changed waiting. And so I have to go to the back of that queue from the front of this queue. And I'm starting to think now, you know, I've emailed, wizards and stuff have been like look this thing happened and apparently it happened to a bunch of the ambassadors i'm gonna be late um and i start thinking god how am i how am i gonna how am i gonna stomach sitting in this queue for hours and hours and hours only to have it mean nothing to get to the back of a different queue and then i notice these two girls who i've been talking to a little bit behind me running off just they just run off shortly after this and i follow them and they go to this departure gate that's just a minute or two away and this guy there that, that works at Lufthansa is talking to them. And I stand up behind them and he says, okay, so he says to them, he says, okay, I've sorted your flight to Croatia, coincidentally, for so-and-so time, here you go. 
And then he says, points to me and says, you're going with them. And I say, no, I'm going to Seattle. And he says, okay. And he takes my boarding pass, my passport. And he puts, he looks at it for a while. He, he hums and he hums and he shakes his head and he looks disapprovingly. And eventually he says, now bear in mind at this point, had I stayed in the queue I was in, it still would have taken me a good two and a half hours to get to the queue if they hadn't, cl- you know, even if they decided not to close up beforehand. And he's looking at me and he says, the best I can do for you is a flight to tomorrow at noon which isn't ideal but he says look i've put you up in this hotel you get you get a dinner and a breakfast and all this stuff and a shuttle service will take you to and from the airport and all this stuff which is why now rather than sitting in my hotel room in renton i am sitting in my hotel room uh, in frankfurt which is not ideal because i'm going to be a day late to the whole community ambassador thing. I'm not gonna miss any actual packs, that doesn't start till Friday. But I have had what is safe to say one of the longest, most frustrating, and most helpless days of my entire life.